Welcome, eSIM Studios. We have some very, very interesting news uh, that just came out uh, today, actually. Um, it has to do with Apple, and it has to do with the upcoming iPhone 15 series. Now, I know the uh, 14 was series was just released, uh, what, four or five months ago in last September of 2022. But as you know, um, the, these manufacturers, Apple, Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus, they all have phone in the works for the next, excuse me, probably two or three years, if not, if not more. And if you watch one of my previous videos, um, uh, leak videos on some news about Apple, so with the iPhone 15 uh, and moving on to 16 and so on, they're going to incur some changes as far as not necessarily how it looks yes uh and no well yes i take that back definitely how it looks they're going to do a buttonless iphone uh and they're also going to do away with that dynamic island i think on iphone 16 or moving forward after that however big news is that and leave it up to apple um i just kind of laughed and chuckled when I heard this information. So um, iPhone 15, again, if you reference my uh, other video, maybe about a month ago, um, Apple is moving to USB type C connector for all iPhone 15s worldwide. And we can thank um, the European Union, the EU, they passed a law maybe about six months ago, four, five, six months ago, stating, telling Apple, they passed a law, the, all of Europe, saying, telling Apple, well, basically the law says all electronic devices have to have a USB Type-C connector to charge it, right? That makes sense. I wish the uh, US would, would do that here. Uh, makes everything a lot easier. All you need is basically, technically, all you need is one cable and a charging brick, uh, what have you, and you can charge all your electronics. Well, um, they, they basically said it was formed not specifically, not technically, it was not passed just because of Apple, but wink, wink, it was definitely because of Apple, because basically all new phones, all Android phones are coming with USB Type-C, been that way for years, all other electronic devices, my earbuds, um, all sorts of stuff, USB Type-C. So... They, they, they said, if you don't have a USB Type-C charging port on your electronic device, it cannot be sold here in Europe, all of Europe, all the countries in Europe. So that basically forced Apple's hand. Now, they I'm sure they have been, wor they were planning on releasing a USB Type-C iPhone probably before this law passed, probably on iPhone, I don't know, 16, 17, or 18. They were eventually going to move to that but the EU forced their hand and now they're gonna have to. And that's worldwide, um, um, USB Type-C on iPhone 15 worldwide, not just the EU. So what Apple has done, and which is, I think, a, it's, it's just, I don't even know the right words for it, but let me tell you what they're gonna do. Apple has found a loophole in the law that the European Union passed. And what Apple is going to do is they are going to put a micro a nano chip, a microchip in all their Apple USB type C cables. So I have a USB type C cable here. What they're going to do is you have to have an Apple USB Type-C cable to charge your iPhone. And if you don't, if you just pull a regular, this is obviously not an Apple USB Type-C. This is a, I think this is a Pixel one. But anyways, theoretically, 
you know, if I go get an iPhone 15 next year, I should be able to walk out of the Apple store, take my Pixel charger, and I should be able to charge the iPhone with no problem. Well, since this Pixel charger and basically 100% of USB-C cables in the open out in, in the world are not going to have this microchip, this nano chip, which is going to be implanted right in here. It's kind of like their lightning connector. They have a specific microchip in there um, that tells the iPhone or the device this is a, a lightning connector. They're going to put their little nano chip right inside here. And if you, let's say this Pixel charger, if you plug it in the iPhone 15, you're going to get a message that pops up on your iPhone saying, uh, unsupported accessory, um, please apply verified Apple product, whatever, something like that. But this totally goes against of what the whole law was passed for in the first place. And it's basically like spitting in the face, not only of me or you, but specifically the European Union who passed this whole big bill, this whole law that they were working on for a couple years. It basically spits in their face because the reason why they passed this law was to force them, Apple, all manufacturers, to use any USB Type-C cable to charge the product. Now Apple's saying, no, that's not the case. You have to have our USB Type-C cable. Why is that bad for you? That's bad for you because the prices are going to be way more expensive. I can go get a USB Type-C cable on Amazon for three bucks and it should work, but it will not work. You're going to, Apple's going to charge probably 20 bucks a cable. Just another way for them, you know, they another way for them to make money and I think that's that's the whole reason why they did it I think they did find this loophole and they basically tell telling the uh, European Union oh yeah you're gonna force our hand okay well then we're, we're, we're gonna have it type C but we're gonna have it our way so they that's what I'm saying they kind of found this loophole to where you're gonna still have to it's basically like using a specialized Lightning adapter, obviously it's not, but it's like using a special cable just for their iPhone 15 because this cable will not charge their other devices. In fact, this this Pixel cable here will charge iPads. It will charge MacBooks. They do not have that nano chip, that micro chip uh, um, feature or it has to be an Apple cable. They do not have that inside the iPad or the MacBooks. Now, we don't know if they're going to put that on future devices moving forward, like iPad and MacBooks, but they probably will. I mean, it's just another way for them to make money. So th this defeats the whole purpose of having everything USB Type-C. When I first heard that news, not today, not today's news, but the USB Type-C, that they were moving to USB Type-C, um, it was great. You know, it every device i agree needs to be usb type c and this is basically apple spitting in your face um saying nope we're gonna do it our way we're gonna do it how we want to do it and of course they're gonna they're gonna claim oh well um you know safety they're gonna claim compatibility I and mean, it's a bunch of bs um there should be no safety issues in fact every usb type c cable us android users um, um, and people that use use USB Type C have gone through this whole um, safety deal a few years ago. There were some cables that were um, basically cheaply made, were causing fires. Um, I think when you put them on certain devices and certain high powered charging bricks, that would spark or burn up somebody's phone or cause a fire. Well, by about three years ago, they pass some special certification so any USB type C cable that is sold at least in the United States has to have or pass this certification to be legally sold and it's just stating that they use proper insulation in the wires and they um, you know make sure it's safe so they're already safe 
Apple's just do, just doing this to make money. Um, so there you have it. Leave it up to Apple to you know find some other way to to screw their customers out of convenience, out of money, um, because that's all it is. They don't have to do this. Uh, they they're just doing it just to find another way to uh, make an extra. I don't know, a couple billions of dollars, I'm sure, because they're, they're I'm sure they're going to be the only ones selling those cables. And it sucks for y'all, the users of the iPhone 15, because now it inconveniences you. Because what if you're on a road trip? What if you, you know, go to Miami for the weekend or go to the Caribbean and you forget that special Apple cable? Because I guarantee you, it's going to look exactly like this. Excuse me, it's going to be white. And it's not going to look any different. It's going to be a USB Type-C. Um, it's just going to have a chip in there. So you'll get them mixed up with this. And you go on an airplane, you go on a trip, and you don't have your cable, you're screwed. Now, I'm sure over time they'll probably sell these special Apple USB Type-C cables in gas stations, maybe. Uh, I mean, they are now, but it took them years to start selling USB Type-C cables. So who knows? I got to go. I'll see you all later.